Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Buyukan, your friend here and if you are very new to my channel, welcome. Okay, on today's video guys, I'm going to give you a, just a quick update about the caregivers or nanny jobs here in Canada to aspirant immigrants, okay? So, you must be aware for this program, you must be one of the applicants waiting for the result for your applications since 2019. Okay, so just a quick review guys. The old pathway for the caregiver that was my own time before was been abolished 2019. So the government of Canada introduced the new pilot program for caregivers of June 18, 2019. There's a two pilot program for the caregivers. Either you work as a home child care pilot program or home support pilot program. In this two pilot program, they only accept 2,750 applicants per year. Uh, to this two pilot program so it's okay so the home child care pilot program you as a caregiver or as a nanny is responsible to take care like small children or children with disabilities or special needs children either in your own employer's home or in your own place under the home support pilot program you as a caregiver or a nanny responsible to take care uh elderly people with disabilities or uh, total care or assisted like something for you to assist them for their daily activities like you know uh, cooking cleaning like meal preparation something like that okay since they opened this uh program the pandemic comes okay because this is a very new program of 2019 right so everyone was trying to complete all the requirements to submit or find an employer by the time is pandemic so all the applicants all the applications like stuck okay so we, we don't blame anybody because you know it's pandemic right so the updates for the home child care pilot program was been already been uh, full okay so they don't accept anymore this year of 2021 if you applied for the home child care pilot program and it so happened your application return it back to you you have the chance to submit again next year they're opening january of 2022 okay so instead of waiting for 2022 next year of january why don't you just try the home support pilot program right because they still open they still accepting applicants for the home uh, support pilot program so if you think you are qualified also for the home support pilot program instead you waiting for next year january 2022 might as well just try to find an employer this year of 2021 for under the home support pilot program and then if you can find an employer and it's still open then you know it's a good news for you right yeah so that's the announcement for the home child care pilot program and they just announced yesterday april 30th of 2021 okay. in order for you to qualify to this uh, new pilot program for caregivers this is a very good opportunity for you guys to become a permanent resident because this new pilot program you as an applicant can able to bring your husband or your children with you to come here in Canada, the question is, how can I be qualified to become a caregiver or nanny here in Canada to this uh, pilot program? You as an applicant at least finish your degree in college or uh, you are under like 72 units above or you finish two years course in your own back home. Second, you need to pass the IELTS examination like English examination, like the passing score is five. Third, you need to submit your credentials here in Canada for them to assess the level of your education if you are passed for the caregiver program requirements. Third, you need to have at least a one year work uh, full time experience by the time you submitted your applications. Fifth, you need to have an employer here in Canada, either Canadian citizen or permanent resident. This new pilot program for caregivers is a five year program. It's questions, guys. I'm a nurse. Am I qualified to this uh, type of job, like a caregiver or a nanny? Yes, you are, as long as you are presently working the time you are. Uh, applying to these jobs and uh, if you're a nurse apply related to the home support pilot program another questions guys i'm a teacher am i qualified to apply for a uh, nanny or caregivers yes you are especially if you're a kindergarten teacher or elementary teacher uh try to apply the home child care pilot program okay like uh, related to small children how about i'm a nanny long time ago i'm a caregiver long time ago and I have all this uh, experience working, taking care of elderly or children. Okay, 
no matter you have this type of experience long time ago if you don't have the education you are not qualified to this uh, type of uh, program for caregivers or nanny unless you go back to school and finish at least a two years course in your own home country like two years course like diploma and then that's the time you try to complete all the requirements for this nanny or caregivers if you really badly want to come here in canada okay another question guys what if i'm a commerce graduate i'm an engineer i don't have related uh work experience to nannies or caregivers but i want to be a nanny or caregiver because i want to become a permanent resident here in canada okay if you have a relatives or friends or brother or sister and they are qualified to hire you as their nanny or caregivers to their small children okay because you don't have a work experience as a caregiver in your own home country complete all the requirements complete all the requirements for the caregiver you have all the educations this is what happened guys you come to canada and work for two years as a caregiver or a nanny to this uh, type of job by the time you complete all the work experience as a caregiver or as a nanny and that's the time after two years completion of your work experience as a caregiver or a nanny and that's the time you submit to the immigration by the time you are in canada you already have the work experience because you work full-time jobs to this, to this type of program which is only hope for the best to all of you guys who applicants outside canada especially i hope for the best for you guys that immigration will approve all the applications okay and that's all our prayers because it's too much, too much. When you submit the applications, you know, I guaranteed you something like this. Too much applications to accomplish and submit and prove and make the immigration satisfied. The one common question is about the caregivers or nanny. I'm a male. Can I be qualified to work as a caregiver? Yes, of course. Okay, especially if you have related work experience like a caregiver or a nurse in your own back home. You know, in Canada, especially if you're taking care like elderly people with disabilities, uh, they need male caregivers. Okay, because, uh, you know, sometimes the lifting, repositioning, you know. But uh, in Canada, like the technology, we have a good technology here in Canada. You don't have to use all your energy to transfer people. Of course, there's a technique for that, right? But most of the caregivers, especially with disabilities, like elderly people, we have a ceiling leaf, like we have the materials to transfer patients. So it's easier. All applicants outside Canada of 2019, 2020, they only some of them receive their AOR like acknowledgement of receipt the immigration uh, receive your application okay so I mean to say they receive and because of the lockdown everything like make everything is slow okay because uh, I even called the uh, immigration consultant here in Calgary I asked them like how about like how about the applicants for year 2019 how come they only receive their acknowledgement of receipt or their AOR and then that's all and you know their only reply me is like you know we just only wait because most of the applicants like stuck because of this pandemic so we don't blame anyone you know guys so we just hope for the best for this year 2021 guys okay because uh, we cannot do anything it's from all the immigration right yeah, so the good news for inside canada for nannies or caregivers if you work at least one year full time in your employer you are qualified to apply for your permanent resident remember last month mark Coleman, the sino the minister of uh, immigration uh, refugee and citizenship uh, canada he announced last month that this month of may this 2021 you guys are qualified to apply for your permanent resident because you know they give all this credit to people who are inside canada working of uh, this time of pandemic so this is a good news for people who are inside already in canada with a work permit visa one of the most common questions from the caregivers or nanny outside canada what if i will come first in canada and work as a nanny or a caregiver and then later on i will bring my family here in canada so the answer is yes you can do that okay it depends on your contract if your employer wants you to work like a living caregiver uh this pilot program guys is a live out uh, caregiver but it all depends on your employer okay so if your employer in your contract your employer want you to work as a, a living caregiver to their home then it's better you come first then later if you settled here in Canada you don't have to wait the two years contract to bring your family actually I asked that questions to 
uh, my immigration consultant. So in this pilot program, guys, so you as an applicant, if you have a husband or wife, whoever is the dependents, the immigration will give them a work open work permit visa. So once they are here in Canada, they can able to work like any kind of job. Then at the same time, you guys can survive. The wife work as a caregiver or the husband work as a caregiver then whoever is your partner then they have the open work permit so you guys can work and you can survive here in canada okay another questions so what if we'll come together with my husband or my children do we need a show money to this okay i think it makes sense you have to have to prove some amount of money to survive when you come to Canada. If you're going to bring your husband or your wife or your children with you in this uh, program, it's because this type of program have no show money, okay? But if you are going to bring your family, your small children with you or your husband or your wife, whoever is your dependents come with you, you need to have a proof of money to survive for the, at least for the three months or four months here in Canada. So in my own opinion, guys, if I were you, if money is a little bit tight, you better come first and work here as a nanny or caregiver just for a few months. Then later on, you apply for your, uh, you apply for your family to come here in Canada. During the processing of your applications, before you submit it to the immigration, you have to make it sure you included all your family members, your husband or your wife or your children, okay, in your application. So whatever fees from the immigration, you need to pay also. In this pilot program, you are applying for a work permit visa and at the same time for your permanent resident. Uh, disclaimer guys, this video is for in informational purposes only. If you need Need some uh, professional advice please ask help from the immigration consultant or immigration lawyer because for me I don't belong to any agency here in Canada what I share with you guys is just based on my own ideas and what I research and my own experience okay so good luck everyone and I'll see you here in Canada in the future and bye bye and God bless you thank you